All right, what's up, everybody? I'm hoping that uh, my recording works better than it did the other night. <laughs> I was uh, trying to get another. I was going to do like what you saw here in the first part. Well, actually, what you're going to about to see uh, is a quick time lapse of us getting to almost five o'clock.
it's now 16:55, which is uh, 4:55. Yeah, 4:55 uh, p.m. So almost five o'clock. And uh, hey, that's a cool little air conditioner. Meant to borrow that. <laughs> um, but um, I was just uh, gonna briefly talk about where we're at. You know, so we're we're almost to five o'clock, which means quitting time for day one. And uh, then we're going to look at the finances and see where we're at. Uh, I've actually already, you know, added some stuff up and things, and uh, I think we're in uh, pretty good shape. So let's get out to the woods, and we'll finish up the last few five minutes here <laughs> and I'm gonna talk about you know, kind of where we're headed from here okay so we're back here at the landing you see I got quite a bit of wood piled up and uh, started another load you saw that in the end of the time lapse there but uh, but yeah I guess uh, so the main thing is to let's look at the finances I mean that's what we're kind of doing with this series so let's take a look at that All right, so we have our spreadsheet here that you can see on the web page. Uh, just uh, go to nlagaming.com and click the drop down for FS19. You'll see whole macro finances there. Click on that. You don't need access to it. I don't know why some people are trying to get access in here. It's just meant to, for everybody to view, not to edit or anything. So if you're trying to click on it and, and do whatever, just just know that you're supposed to look at it, not really do anything with it. <laughs> All right, so. Um, Day one, and I've already kind of gone through this. We we look at this again back in game, but uh, if you click on uh, the escape key on your keyboard, you'll get to you know the little save page where it's got the map and all that. But if you click the little dollar sign up there, it'll show you all of your finances for the day. And so, if you uh, are new to the series or or haven't watched the first uh, few videos or whatever, I'm keeping up with all the finances, and I found. Uh, over here in this this little section here, I found um, a website that was a forestry related uh, finance type kind of thing where it kind of showed some of the average salaries of some uh, you know skidder drivers and truck drivers things like that. So I kind of estimated you know based on the um, skill level I guess required. Uh, for some of these jobs as to some make a little bit more than others and things like that so some of this may not be realistic I, I realize but I'm just kind of you know and of course it depends on where you live too because I mean, if you're up in you know the uh, western side of the United States or northeast or wherever you know things are different uh, uh, the um, cost of living and stuff like that is different so down here though where I live I would say probably what I've got here is may be pretty accurate I mean uh, maybe a, a touch high actually but I just don't know I'm you know don't keep track of that kind of stuff but so what I did was uh, I don't know how long we're gonna be on home Acre, and so I didn't want to go every two weeks for pay periods so I'm, I'm gonna do it every day and so I broke it down now I forgot to mention how I broke this down so if you divide 38,000 by 365 days in a year you're not going to get 121 because you don't work 365 so what I did was I took out um, I, I made it where it was a six a six week uh, six day week assuming that we work Monday through Saturday and have Sunday off uh, I, you know I, again I, I don't know if that's fairly accurate. I know a lot of job uh, uh, forestry uh, logging outfits and stuff you know do work on Saturdays but um, you know I just, I just I just made it a six day work week so I, I broke it down that way so if you do the math and uh, take out uh, let's see what's that five uh, six days a week times uh, 52 weeks in a year I don't know what the math works out to be but anyway it's it's less than 365 so that's how you get that number the per, per day number alright so processor works out to be 121 41 cents we subtract that from our beginning balance which was I believe let's see up here yeah we 
before we took out the loan to buy the log trailer, we had the beginning balance. So that's where we'll start day one finances. Okay, so that's what we had when we first started. Um, so then we took out all the salaries, and then we took out a loan to uh, buy the, the log trailer because we didn't have one of those. Uh, our one that we had before we started home micro bit the dust, so we had to buy a new one. <laughs> um, so we took out a loan of 15000 to help us buy the log truck because we didn't have quite enough. I think I, I was I was thinking for some reason the log truck was like ten or $12,000 and it ended up being, I think, about 23000 or something. So we had to take out a loan. So that knocked us down. We're in the hole now. Uh, minus six thousand six hundred eighty-four and four cents, and so what I did was I, I was thinking about this earlier, and I, I believe this is the correct way to do this. Uh, somebody call me from North Carolina. Don't know you. All right. So what I did was I took the uh, fifteen thousand, and I took the the cost of the trailer minus the fifteen thousand. And I come up with seventy-eight fifty. That's uh, what we still owed, I suppose, on the trail after taking out the the loan. So I subtracted seventy-eight fifty from this negative sixty-six eighty-four. Uh, you can see right here, trailer minus cost of loan. And then we sold uh, on this first day. We sold almost three hundred thousand dollars worth of wood. <laughs> I don't know if that was real realistic or not, but uh, that's what the game says. <laughs> So we'll go with that, but uh, and then fuel. Um, we fueled up our pickup truck, the fuel tank in the back of that. We filled that up, and then I fueled up the um, the Kenworth C500. Had to fuel that thing up twice. That thing burns through some fuel in a hurry. Uh, you know, it, it it drives a lot too. So, and it's got a, I don't know, thousand horsepower engine or something in it. <laughs> I, I I souped it up a little bit. All right, and then this miscellaneous running cost, I have no idea what that is. That's just from the game. If you go into the escape menu and go to finances, you'll see miscellaneous running cost. So we're going to leave it in there. All right, so we tr subtract that. Now, then we uh, had to move our equipment out to the new job site. So we had to, uh, first of all, we started off with a, a brand new company. Their trucks weren't, weren't getting it done, so we had to go back to our good old standby company, and they brought out the big uh, Peterbilt triaxle. 900 horsepower something like that so they got us out there but between the two we spent twelve thousand almost twelve thousand eight hundred dollars moving our equipment out there <laughs> so uh, I think in the future we're gonna be looking at purchasing our own uh, heavy haul truck so that's on the horizon and then I want to get a um, uh, a chipping operation set up to come in after we you know finish up our track so I'm really yeah, I've, I've really given a lot of thought to that uh, wood chipping stuff because on one hand, what I normally do is, of course, have a wood chipper there while we're doing the operation. That way I can throw the tops in there and the cutoff pieces and stuff. I can chip those up and usually with the Brooks wood chipper uh, attachment on the vehicle or a you know tractor. But um, I'm really also kind of thinking about, um, you know, a real world type situation which would be you know it, it really kind of depends too on, on what the sawmills require and stuff I mean uh, at least from my experience and this was years ago but um, you know the the logging operation would make a big slash pile um, now a lot of cases yeah they, they take some of the tops and stuff and, and spread them back out over the skid trails so you, there's no erosion and stuff but for some reason I guess on some of our jobs we just left a big slash pile and then we uh, our company or whatever uh, had a chipping crew that would come out afterwards and clean all that up and, and you know chip it all up and take it to the mill and sell it for biofuel or whatever so I'm, that's what I'm kind of thinking, but at the same time, I'm also thinking about our frame rate, which it hasn't been terrible, but I've just been tossing them down the down the hill, which I think would be good, and uh, that way at least they're out of sight, and then um, they can you know be chipped up later if I decide to do that. 
But also kind of what I'm thinking, too, is what if we decided to cut down there in that area because it would be a ton of stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm still really thinking about that because I'm, I'm thinking if I, if I make a big uh, slash pile, it's probably going to start to really affect the frame rate. So, you know, I may go ahead and get some sort of a chipping operation set up. So that will be that'll be some of this call something about to talk about right here is this number right here this is our profit for the day so we took all of our negative numbers which are in red I guess I need to color code these things in red as well yeah, make all that make all that red and you can see our profit right there is 292,000 or actually our income is 292,000 so the profit for the day is 253,000 now Whenever I roll over after midnight, it's going to adjust it some because there'll be some other miscellaneous costs and stuff, I'm sure. Uh, interest on the loan and things like that, which we're about to take care of. All right, so let's go back into the game. Okay, so like I said, if you come up here to this finance uh, tab, if you want to call it that or whatever, finance icon, you can see over here, uh, new vehicles, which we're not going to worry about because we, we're just pretending like we already owned all those vehicles. There's the miscellaneous uh, running cost, vehicle running cost I was talking about, $28. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, the vehicle leasing cost, we talked about that. Here's our sold wood, $292,320. And our fuel, and uh, yeah, that was it. Okay, so yeah, if we let this roll over for a day past midnight then we're going to get a loan interest and so why not let's just go ahead and pay that off because we've already made almost three hundred thousand dollars so all right there we go so now we now we don't have the loan anymore and uh, I'm gonna have to go back now to my spreadsheet and adjust that because we made that that change Okay, so let's uh, let's add a salon in here for loan repayment. No, uh, fifteen thousand. And again, that is money we spent so that being red okay I need to adjust that to there and that is going to be also adjusted to there so I believe this is uh, all correct in here and that's now um, actually that needs to be green doesn't it because we, we took out a loan yeah so that's income I kind of messed that up let's make that one black now that is going to be also black Okay, yeah, so we didn't really have anything there. I mean, we took out the loan, um, which, uh, yeah, added to our balance, and then we bought the log trailer, which was the, yeah, the, that's that's correct, the, the trailer, yeah, okay, all right, because so, we still owed that much on the trailer after taking out the loan, already had that balance, yeah, okay. All right, so actually our day one total now after the loan repayment is, 238,000 still, still a pretty good amount and yeah so now our balance is 277,000 it's gonna be a little different than what's in game uh, well, it's, it's pretty close actually 276,569 that's really close now what they're, what they're not taking into account of of course is our uh, beginning balance and the uh, wage payments because you know, you can't really do wage payments in game with the forestry stuff. That would be kind of cool, though. Is if uh, I, I would, they need to add that in there? Well, no, I guess they wouldn't really have any way of doing it, it unless you just specified I've got five workers making this much per 
hour or whatever. I don't know. That'd be kind of interesting. But yeah, so we're we're real close on the loan balance between in game and actually uh, outside the game. So yeah. Anyway, that's that's what we're gonna be doing with this Homocra series. Hope you enjoy that. I know it's maybe for some of you a little bit uh, kind of boring, maybe, but um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to keep up with you know actual uh, salaries and you know fuel and all that kind of stuff. Because what I'm what I'm gonna do is whenever we go back. Um, in the next video, what's going to happen is I'm going to speed up time through midnight and on to like probably, we'll probably make it say uh, 6 a.m. I mean, I think most loggers get busy probably around 6 a.m. So we'll, we'll, we'll start day two at 6 a.m. And anything that rolls over fuel cost, I mean, uh, uh, finance wise after midnight, because there's going to be something I think that rolls over. Uh, and adds to our, our cost here. We'll check that out maybe in the next video and then uh, add that to our spreadsheet and stuff. But uh, yeah, and then, so uh, start of day two, I'm going to have my fuel uh, tank in the back of my pickup truck fueled up and ready to go. We're going to head out to the, the job site and then we're going to fuel up all of our vehicles, make sure they're ready to go for the day. Um, and now I've, I've, what I've noticed is, let's see if we come back here and look at our vehicles. Okay, so like for instance, the processor is really pretty much set still most of the day, although it's got almost a half a tank used up. But uh, we'll probably just go ahead and top it off just to be safe. And then our loader over here, I think, uh, yeah, it's actually a little less because it doesn't really move much at all. Uh, but like our skitter and stuff, I don't, you know, I don't know what's up with that because I've got their uh, realistic fuel mod enabled, so it should be using fuel faster than it's supposed to. But this may be something with the mod itself, with the settings, because uh, you see we've barely even used any fuel, and we've made bunches of runs up and down. So I'm gonna have to try to go into the fuel settings, maybe in the mod itself, and see if I can adjust that. But uh, the yeah, see the the fellow buncher, it hasn't used much fuel either. So I guess really because I'm I'm the truck uses so much fuel that it kind of offsets those two, not uh, not using much fuel because uh, you can see there I've already fueled this thing up twice and we've already used about an eighth of a tank or so. So uh, and and you you probably notice too whenever I'm working here around the landing, I try to. Make sure everything's uh, cranked up and left on, so it kind of simulates the fuel usage and stuff in a real job site. But yeah, and here's the here's the mess down here. <laughs> you can see the big all this bunch of stuff. And uh, uh, somebody said, "Why aren't you chipping up or splitting that up and using it for firewood?" Well, I don't know if I'd want to burn this kind of stuff, uh, spruce and pine and stuff like that in my fireplace. But <laughs> yeah, I'm just throwing it all down here, so my my frame rate's pretty decent. You can see uh, we're gonna have to get down here eventually and cut some of this stuff, I think. And um, I'm still, I'm still really debating on what I want to do about a wood chipper because we don't have much room here at the landing. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just try not to cut over this way if I decide to come back and cut because our little plot of land. Let me see here. Get back to this. Uh, this this map over here now I'm, I'm uh, don't want to spend too much time on this okay yeah so we, you can see we're about to move over into one of our other tracks so I think what I'd like to do is probably I don't know can y'all let's see y'all yeah okay you, you can see my mouse okay so you know of course we're here and that's not far from the landing, so the landing is probably right in this area, somewhere right in here. And I don't know if I want to keep continue cutting back this way. I think what I may do is um, come back over to this this kind of uh, southwest line and come all the way down this to the road, and then I can cut back along the road or even go across it. We'll, we'll probably set up another another landing over here somewhere on the south side of the road. So we'll cut down to the road 
and so we'll know where that boundary is on this southwest side right here and our landing is right up in here somewhere and then I think what I'll do is I'll cut directly uh, try to parallel this southwest line right down here maybe to this corner and kind of cut out this little area right in here and I'll save probably this little part here until we I'm probably going to come off of this road and come back in here and set up a landing somewhere in the top part or maybe kind of in the middle even and then we can start cutting all this and and then what I'll do is uh, when we get us a path cut in here and a landing set up maybe I'll bring in the chipping crew to this area here and then I'll pick up all this stuff that's down in this spot right here that's, that's probably the plan because yeah I don't, I don't I want to get down in here in this stuff and then my frame rate start going bonkers because right now we're already in the low 20s Let's see if I spin back this way you know we're still cl we're, we're closer to 30 but I don't know there's still just a lot of trees and things on this map that are taking up uh, a lot of frame rate and I don't you know I don't have the greatest computer it's okay it's it's doing pretty good but there's just a uh, lots and lots of trees on this map as soon as we start opening up some of these trees and things it'll get better but but anyway that's the plan and I just want to kind of update you on where we were at five o'clock oh yeah we, we, I forgot one last thing uh, what we're gonna do every it's after five now so what we're gonna do every uh, work day is uh, hop in our truck oh I thought I fixed that maybe not oh well we're gonna hop in our pickup truck and we're gonna head back to the sawmill and park for the night because we are done for the day that truck I'm going to look at that again <laughs> yeah I adjusted the wear on this thing I need to adjust it in another place. I don't know. I'll do that again. And also, what I'm thinking about doing is um, <clears throat> maybe setting up another sawmill somewhere. Uh, one of the production sawmills. So we can actually produce some lumber and go sell it. Since we've got that to use now. I don't really particularly care for the sawmill that's on this map. It's too tight. Uh, the wood chips are inside of a building. It's just kind of ridiculous. So I'm going to be setting up a different sawmill somewhere else, and I'll figure out where. Uh, it's probably going to be along that road somewhere, along the main road, but I'm not sure exactly yet, but I'll take a look at that and get it figured out. Oh, and uh, I guess I should mention, too, uh, in case you're wondering where some of the time went, uh, I recorded like almost an hour worth of stuff the other night, and for some reason my OBS did not record any of it. Um, yeah, all I got was a blank screen, black screen, so unfortunately you lost a bit of time there, but I think uh, OBS should be recording fine now. At least I hope so. I didn't, I didn't check it, but uh, I think it's all right. Usually whatever you see on the screen there is what is recording. how dark it is in front of the truck and how light it is in the mirrors. It's 
certainly is dark on this map. I don't know what, I guess the sun angle, maybe it's, they set it lower or something. I'll take a wrong turn. Oh my goodness. I'm seriously going to have to put out some cones or something so I can know where to go. This is crazy. There's a rock there. sure I've made that right turn back right there. That's how I'm supposed to go left. I guess it's, yeah, I got confused because it's right whenever you come in, but it's left going out. Uh, I don't hardly ever go this way with the log truck when I'm taking the load of the logs out, so think about it. I thought it did look kind of funny going uphill, because I knew it was downhill. Oh well, I'll get this map figured out one of these days. crew's in a hurry to get done for the day, so we're flying down this bumpy road. <laughs> Alright, and finally back to the sawmill. We're going to pull in here to this little office and park for the night. Alright, well that's going to do it for day one here on Hamakra. And then, like I said, when we come back, uh, on the next day, next video for Hamak will be on day two. Uh, I'm going to make sure everything's fueled up at the job site, ready to go. And uh, then I'm going to be looking around here somewhere, trying to figure out where to put a different kind of sawmill. I think maybe this grassy spot right here looks pretty good. It's a pretty good area. Um, there's also this area right in here, which I'm not sure if there's a good way to get in here or not. But anyway, I'll figure it out, and uh, for next time, we'll, we'll have us a, a better spot, I think, to or a spot picked out to plop down a, a, one of them production sawmills. Probably this area right here is what I'm thinking. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time on Hamakra. Thanks for watching.